I can set a headland sequence on the uh, on the tractor to uh, to utilise my go end buttons um, to, uh, to to get everything down to a, a single button press. And the way I can do that is I can uh, either find my uh, my headland sequence uh, tile on the screen and open that one up, or if it's not displaying there. Again, it's come to my uh, my uh, tractor launch pad. Press on the on the teaching button, and then I can look to uh, for my uh, my sequence. So it might be that it's uh, it's locked. So if we unlock it, and then we can choose then as to what sequence we want to be uh, be programmed. So sequence one then will uh, program the, uh, the top go button. Sequence two will program the uh, the bottom end button. Sequence three the small go button. Sequence four. The, uh, the small end button. So I can choose which button I want to program on there and if I want to uh, to record as uh, as I'm going along as I'm actually doing it is I can hit the uh, hit the record button to say that's what I want to, to do and then is it's highlighted for record on the uh, on the very top uh, go button so if I hit uh, hit that uh, um, hit that go button there and then as I'm driving forward, if I, uh, if I make a, uh, a sequence change in there, so I've lowered the linkage because I let go straight away, it's, uh, it's recorded that, but then if I said that I bought in four-wheel drive, it's now bought in that, but it's also gone for how long I've travelled for. If I was to activate a spool valve in there, again it's like I said one metre afterwards, and then the distance uh, for that one, and then if I've activated a uh, an engine transmission and then if I'm happy with that sequence so that's the end of it I press my go button again and that now uh, stops the recording of the sequence and we've got that sequence now already uh, labeled up in the uh, in the screen ready to uh, ready to go